this video is on my Be Kind soaps, and I actually did two different ones. Let me grab the actual Be Kind one. Isn't that cute? So this color, it's only two weeks after I made this, and I'll have some different videos throughout this video showing uh, when I first cut it and a week later, but this is two weeks after I made it. So I still have four more weeks to go before it cures. And the darkness, that will kind of even out and there's still, if you can kind of see, actually kind of on this one, there's some yellow and then there's some tan, like a lighter tan there. Because I used three different fragrance oils that discolored three different ways. So I did actually three loaves of soap. I have two loaves, so 20 bars of this one, where I have a little honeycombs that I stuck together, kind of looks like a flower, and then some random larger ones spread out. And then I made one loaf. This was doing, I know this is not going to be February, but this was when I did the February soap challenge and one of them was doing a bee. So if you look back at the wildflower prairie one, or no, it's wild prairie and wildflower meadow. That's the one. So look back at that video and the other bee is in one of those soaps as well as me talking about how I made the soap dough. So anyway, this video is about how I made these, starting off with making the little bees and then on to the flowers, well, honeycomb. I didn't actually show doing the honeycomb because this is a very basic ex extruded disc. This comes with you know basic set. And then I had the little ones and I stuck those together. So it'll start off with the videos of me doing the bee and putting together the smaller honeycomb and then on to making it. Goodness gracious, you guys, I have not spent this much time fiddling with an art project or clay or anything like this since probably high school, but it's been fun. I've been doing it for hours. Anyway, I have two bees done so far, so I'm pretty happy with how they turn out. If it'll focus, it's zooming in on the background. There we go. It doesn't want to look at it. So I got two little bees done. I'm happy with how they, how they turned out. So one of them will go into the honeycomb one, and the other one will go into the video with the sunflowers. So on to the next part.
this is something that I've kind of done before. This is a batch that I had made, I don't I think it was last year, but it's a honey one and I've got my Be Happy stamp on there. And you can see the little honeycombs in there, but you, they're, they're really kind of hard to see. So my plan is here today, as I'm actually making a cluster of honeycombs, I'm gonna be doing four, excuse me, three different loaves and I have three different batches that don't have a big enough bowl to hold everything in it. So I'm going to be using three different fragrances and they all discolor to a different shade of brown. And then the embeds I have are right here three different batches. So I have some individual ones and then two of them, actually all three of them are going to have, if you can see that, a cluster of them. And the requirement for this challenge is it has to be soap dough. Any embeds have to be soap dough and they have to run the entire length of the mold. I use 11 colors for all these and then I have 25 extruded canes that are, have individual ones and then I have the the complex ones, which are ones that are combined. So the third one, so these two would be ones that I, I wouldn't submit if it turns out okay. It also depends on the other two batches I'm gonna make. This is the third one, and I made a little honeybee for it. If you can see that, I got a little honeybee that's gonna go into one of them. So the I have no colorants. I did add honey because it's going to be an oatmeal milk and honey. I've got my goat's milk. This is the lye solution that's separated out and it's goat's milk. That's why it's kind of that color. I did add it. Um, I did powdered goat milk. I did add it when the lye was cold. Now, something I learned a long time ago from another soap maker is to add the powder to the lye because sometimes if you add it to the oil, it can be grainy. That doesn't happen to everybody, um, but this is just what I've done and you don't want to add it early because it will scorch. So I've got honey in there. And then if you can see the kind of cloudy part, I have some colloidal oatmeal in there. So it'll be a nice bar of soap. Now the colloidal oatmeal can cause some acceleration. It doesn't happen to everybody, but it can. The three fragrances I'm using, I have oatmeal, milk and honey from Brambleberry. That's gonna go into this one. I have golden oats, again from Brambleberry, gonna go into this one. And then I have oatmeal and honey, not oatmeal, milk and honey, doesn't have the milk, oatmeal and honey from Cracker's Choice is gonna go into this one. And then I measured my batches to use up everything I have left. So I'm not using, this only has like an ounce in it. And this has like half an ounce in it. Um, so I'm gonna use up all the fragrance that I have left because I had used these on other batches. So I think that covers it. And I'm planning on just doing, this one I did it in the pot swirl. I'll probably end up doing more drop swirls and, and then I'll just, place those in kind of free form, nothing, nothing fancy. And then with the honeycomb top, this is wrapped and I use biodegradable shrink wrap. I do have the honeycomb pattern and I'm gonna use these um, bubble wrap pieces that I have cut for the top that will be kind of a honeycomb design. So let's get started.
finish stamping these with this Be Happy stamp that I just think is absolutely adorable. You can see the discoloration of that fragrance oil is starting to come through. This is um, two days after cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and do some mica painting and fill in the honeybees and the be happy words. So this is like the 20 bars. And then over here, I just stamped the side of the ones that actually have the bee in them. So I won't do anything else on those. So these will go up and cure and that brown will continue to darken and then we'll get two other colors in there. You can't really see it too well in the camera, but you can kind of see some lighter brown in some of the spots from those three different fragrance oils. So again, there should be three different colors in there. I'm going to go ahead and paint these and then we'll come back for that final look. 